Thomas, Percy, and the dragon. Thomas and Percy are good friends, but sometimes Percy teases Thomas about being frightened, and he doesn't like that at all. One evening, he was dozing happily, but Percy wanted to talk. Wake up, Thomas. Are you dreaming about the time you thought I was a ghost? Certainly not. Anyway, I was only pretending to be scared. I knew it was you, really. Percy went on teasing him. I hope the guard leaves the light on for you tonight. Why? asked Thomas. I quite like the dark. Oh, really? exclaimed Percy. I am surprised. I always thought you were afraid of the dark. I wonder why. Thomas decided to say nothing and went to sleep instead. Next day, the fat controller came to see him. I would like you to go to the harbour tonight. You have to collect something rather unusual. What sort of something? asked Thomas. Wait and see, replied the fat controller. Meanwhile, Percy was moving trucks into a siding. Henry arrived with his goods train. The signalman switched the points and Percy waited on the siding till Henry had steamed by. Then there was trouble. The points are jammed, called the signalman. I can't switch them back. The workman will mend them in the morning. It's too late now. Hmm, said Percy's driver. I'm sorry, Percy, but you'll have to stay here for the night. Where are you going? asked Percy. Home for tea, replied the fireman. Percy was speechless. He watched as the other engines went home to the shed. Night time came and Percy began to feel very lonely. Oh dear, he murmured. It's very dark. Oh, ooh. What's that? It was only an owl, but Percy didn't realise this. I wish Thomas was here too, he sighed. Thomas was waiting for his mysterious load at the harbour. Suddenly, there it was. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. It's a dragon. Don't worry, laughed his driver. This dragon is made of paper. It's for the carnival tomorrow. Workmen lifted the dragon onto Thomas's low loader and put lights all around it for protection. Then Thomas set off into the misty night. Percy was asleep in his siding and had no idea that Thomas was approaching. Percy woke with a start. Help, cried Percy. I'm not going to open my eyes until my driver comes. Next morning, the points were mended and Percy puffed back to the junction. Gordon was just about to leave with the express. You'll never guess what I saw last night. Gordon was in no mood for puzzles. I'm a busy engine. I don't have time for your games. I've seen a huge dragon. It was covered in lights. Gordon snorted. You've been in the sun too long. Your dome was cr has cracked. When the other engines heard the news, they laughed too. Look out, Percy, chuckled James, or the dragon may gobble you up. No one believes me, huffed Percy. Maybe I did imagine the dragon after all. But Percy soon found out that he hadn't. Help, save me, cried Percy. It's all right, whistled Thomas, and he explained about the carnival. By the way, how was your night out? Percy decided to tell Thomas the truth. Well, Percy, said Thomas, maybe we do get scared sometimes, but if we're not afraid to tell each other, then that means we're quite brave too.